if it's a little hard to see there, is that there's an actual shadow uh, of the second head as it sweeps around. If you look at it carefully, you can see that an actual shadow as it sweeps around. It's just fully rendered in real time using alpha blending, which is the first for us. And all the graphics are anti alias and vector, uh, and vector based. It is really a fantastic piece of uh, technology. And you're going to see uh, a lot more exploitation of that kind of capability. Now, the next one is a, a new capability we call a slip, which is the ability to bring up a new little UI that's been running in a background task. In this case, it's a stock ticker. Uh, it brings up stocks which have been grabbed off of the internet, the data has been grabbed off the internet, and there's a little <coughs> menu bar at the bottom, you tap on that, the slip comes up, and you see the stock prices in real time. Just gives you a flavor of the kinds of things you'll be able to do more of uh, with, uh, with Cobalt. And finally, one that sort of shows some of the multimedia and multiprocessing capabilities, is a little application which plays music in the background, <laughs> there is audio, we promise. And also, can actual, in real time, transform a video, and that was sort of the video, only vague, vaguely iPod looking, I think, purely by, by uh, a chance. Uh, and in contrast to what you can do on an iPod, of course, in here, you can actually take that video and you can transform it, you can texture map it, you can put it on cubes, you can do all this in real time. There's an enormous amount of, uh, of uh, matrix operations being going on. It's sort of a, really a measure of the power of new R processors as well as the power of the multimedia framework. So just to give you an idea that you're going to see lots more of this, but it is a revolutionary.